Uh, I like how they um, label the cutscenes. It's very cool. Yeah. Oh. Oops. You have already discussed the warp drive failure with Ambassador Smith. I have. It is imperative that the Ambassador's shuttle be flight ready. I need you both to ascertain the root cause of the system failures he encountered. I'm surprised, Commander. I thought you would have wanted to work on Ambassador Spock's shuttle yourself. I respect the Ambassador and his many accomplishments. But I do not derive any satisfaction from interacting with his shuttle as if it were somehow transubstantiated through its association with him. Especially when I have the entirety of this starship to concern myself with. Uh, oh, do you enjoy anything? Engineer. Should we make you angry? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I take pleasure in the satisfaction of a job well done. I suggest you try it sometime. Make note of any abnormalities in your report. Satisfaction. Oh, yeah, that job definitely well annoyed done. him a little bit. That sounds pretty uh, emotional. <laughs> satisfaction of a job well done. I thought Vulcans weren't supposed to even feel that much. <laughs> Right. Treat me like I was something to pity. Doc says I should get used to it. Uh, makes you look tough. That is a nice scar. Yeah, you won't get pity from me. I think it makes you look tough. As tough as you really are. And that makes you sound pretty smart. I might need you to save me for myself next time, though. <laughs> Come on. Let's get to the bottom of this. Ready to go? All set. Let's run the diagnostic. Ooh, let's see what kind of cool stuff you're gonna do now. Let's take a look at this screen real quick here and take a look at what everybody thinks of us real fast. <coughs> pretty decent. He seemed pretty unimpressed by a lot of stuff. Yeah. Hmm. He's another one that I assume would be tough to win over. Positive attitude, keen intellect. Well, that's definitely high praise from Spock. For sure. I would expect that from Bedrosian. She seemed to be like a fangirl. Yeah. 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 All right. I'll see. Oh, I'll be back. Uh... Right. Um... <laughs> yeah, you were right about that. All right. All right. Let's go on a little bit longer. Uh, let's see, diagnostics. Oh, this is cool. So, I know about your talk with Miranda. You, you do? She sent me a priority one dispatch right after the <laughs> news flies. The gospel mill is running. News flies fast. Thanks. But I'm only at the speed of light. Don't. <laughs> this up because I would be very unhappy if you tried this out and then I don't know six weeks or six days later I have to start splitting holidays between the two of you oh you might be right maybe All she wanted to date you south and you're not on have some course. faith that Ooh. just isn't gonna work for me you really don't believe in me huh it's not you or her just running the numbers and things don't work out more often than they do I like my friends, and I like our group. I don't want to lose that. Is that thing done yet? Yeah, it's wrapping up. Let's see. The relays along the primary EPS are blown. The backup relays are all intact. An EPS overload from the warp drive could cause that. But how did the shuttle end up dead in the water? Oh. Well, maybe the ship's data recorder can tell us something. Yeah, yeah. Data recorder. 
Oh, cool. So, oh, that's cool. So this is like all the whole the whole flight path they took. We can go as fast or as slow as we want here. Oh. They were only about eight minutes from their plotted warp point. Eight minutes no faults, just those warnings. Huh. What are they? Subspace variants out of tolerance. Oh, oh me. What does that mean? It means the main navigation array lost sight of space somehow. Will the array going offline cause that? Yes, but it should have also thrown a fault. Okay. The warp field became inverted suddenly. I've seen this happen when the center warp coil cracks. A cracked warp coil throws a fault code. Still, we should take a look. I like that it brings up a little explanation of the stuff off to the side. That's cool. A complete warp cascade failure. Wow. They're lucky the shuttle didn't turn inside out. Holy cow. The computer panicked on the warp field equation. Any one of these failures should have thrown a fault. If it was caused by a system failure. None of this caused the relays to blow. Roll forward to when that happened. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we're going to...